Good evening. I hope you've had a blessed day. This is Carlton Coon with another Ministry Monday. I apologize for not having been here for the last several weeks. It's been a wild time. Our church is in the process and has now purchased a, a new space, and uh, we've been working to do some remodeling and renovating along with uh, being away preaching a anniversary service for Pastor Deckard in Des Moines, Iowa, 20 years. What what an incredible thing it is to pastor one group of people for 20 years, and he has done that starting daughter churches and sending out preachers and so many other things, and I commend and honor him. I want to talk with you for just a minute today about the importance of our not being distracted by the temporal uh, we're all living in a busy world, and uh, we have been surrounded by, at least in America, we've been surrounded by a political hailstorm, it seems like. And of course, there is the coronavirus, and that comes very close to home. Uh, one of my dearest friends uh, spent um, over three weeks in ICU, our co pastor here in Springfield, Missouri, is very, very sick with the, with the COVID. So these are, these are real things, and, and we recognize the significance. It's so easy to spend our time and really get fixated on things that we can do nothing about, fretting over them taking time that we should spend in study or prayer or teaching on Bible study or doing something else, and instead we're captivated. There was somebody make an interesting statement the other day, and I, I knew it to be true. I never really thought that anybody uh, needed it clarified. The individual made the statement that that. He had come to comprehend that gossip did not necessarily mean telling a lie about someone. Instead, it was simply repeating a bad or negative story about another. Again, we can get caught up in listening to the wrong stories. We can, we can get entranced with trying to figure out the negative and the tragic and all that is going on. Please don't be distracted by the temporal. Saul became distracted because Samuel had not arrived at the season and time that he thought he should be there. So he took things in his own hands and, of course, became a great debacle leading to the destruction of Saul's efforts as the king of all of Israel. He got in a hurry, got in a rush, Got in a hurry because of something that was that was temporal. Let's stop fretting and start praying. Stop seeing all of the dark shadows that are out there. Jesus is Lord. He's got this under control. He knows what he's doing um, with all of it. And I trust him. I trust him. I believe that his church is entering into the season of the greatest revival. This end-time revival, J.T. Pugh talked about end-time revival. He talked about the Pentecostals are coming. Kenneth Phillips talked about it. I believe that this is that moment when we take our world and we make an impact, not just with the experience of Pentecost, but we take this world with the reality of the name of Jesus Christ and baptism in that name and the oneness of God. And I'm excited about that. I don't want to get distracted. I think perhaps I'm talking to myself tonight. I don't want to get distracted by things that simply don't matter. And I don't want you to either. God bless you. Have a great week. If all goes as it should, I'll see you next Monday. God bless you.